Hey guys, Charlie here. Welcome back. Island bound, still going. And you can see in the log here, we just got the $40,000 grant completion bonus for uh, general education. So that's nice. And then right after that, $6,000 early prisoner release. Pretty good. I spent the uh, good portion of the money paying down the loan. So we're only down to $25,000 in debt. And we're pretty close to that now anyway. I've been trying to get this all built out. Uh, logistically, trying to get all the electricity going through, and I'm also gonna get this kind of coming right down here. We're gonna eventually connect this up to a lot of this. And I think actually what we're gonna do is this is gonna power pretty much this whole island and this whole section here. And we're kind of just gonna ignore this, I guess. I don't know, like, eh, whatever. I mean, it's, it's worked while it did, but uh, yeah, whatever. It's, it's like, I'm not gonna get any of those parts back anyway. Uh, so we're actually going to hook this up too, but I want to get this stuff hooked up first. So why don't we go ahead and just dismantle this utility. Uh, let's do it like right here. We'll cut this whole power line right here. That should disconnect all of this, but it won't connect to this part because you'll notice that there's a disconnection right there. And that's because we put in perimeter fence and that cuts that entire electricity. So we really don't need that connected either. All the way down there, we can get rid of that. And we can get rid of all of this, too. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and take this line. And we're going to go ahead and get that connected. So all of this is hooked to power again. Then, as you can see, we're also putting in a hot water boiler here. Which is right on a hot, big old fat pipe heading in, on, in over here. And then, you know, like we should be able to connect all these water lines up. And I think all these, all this should just be watered in hot water pipes. We're going to need to run a few lines. But for the most part, these are all going to be connected right away too. Just kind of do one of those numbers. And I think pretty much all of these get connected. I might actually go ahead and do that just because. We'll see if that, you know, carries through anywhere. But typically, I tend to run these hot water pipes just kind of all interconnected so that the water takes the fastest possible route to where it needs to go. I do not believe that these will all be heated by this one water boiler just because of the way it's positioned. I might have gotten away with it if I put it right here, but I didn't want to put it in front of the walkway, and I just refused to change where the doors are. So I will put another water boiler down, which is okay, because I actually have two in storage, and they're really not that expensive. All right, so we got this hooked up. There's a door servo here also working as soon as we connect it to power. And then all of these... Uh, yeah, the metal detectors get hooked up too. I've got a new power station up here. So what we need to do before we get carried away here is we need to put in, eventually I'll find it, a staff door. I'm going to put one right there. I'm also going to stick one on the, on the backside here and here. Just because I don't like to have anywhere inaccessible, quote unquote, because stuff like this can happen. So I'm going to go ahead actually and have you demolish this. That should at least allow you to move through here. And once you install this door, which you will just magically get, now we'll have all this stuff accessible at least. And we can do things like putting storage back here, for example. Right? Like, it's not out of the question to turn this whole area right here, for example, into storage. And then they can just store stuff here if they want to. Tucker, though, decided he wanted to just warp to the other end of the line. And, you know, Tucker, you, you're good. You can go home. I'm not going to bother with it. Capacitors, $22,000. Let's put in a few of these because we're going to need uh, at least a few of them for now. That should alleviate the power on this line, and it did. Good. All right, then. So, let's take a look at what else we could do. This is supposedly no access. So we're going to go ahead and get that done. And this is supposed to be the kitchen. Still debating if that's what I want to do or not. I think this needs to be bigger. So, I, I think I am going to go ahead with Project Foreman over here. And we're just going to have... I'm just going to put in a building right here. And we're going to stick the, foreman's off, the foreman offices right here. So, one right there and one down here. And this is all kind of near the dock, right? Kind of near the water. So, I think it looks good if we just continue this as the... Hmm, 40 tiles, though. Let's go stone all the way to here. And we can continue the dock around this way. 
Because it just kind of, I don't know, I think it just kind of looks better. And then we also have a bunch of these moorings left, right? Should have a bunch of them left, I think. Yeah, to Mollard. Bollards. That's what they're called. Mooring Bollards. I'll get it. Don't you worry. And with all those in, we can probably get away with just sort of... Oh, we can just demolish these fences. And replace them with mooring bollards. All the way down like this. And we'll just replace them all with these things. This is fine. Because it just, I don't know, I think it looks better. There we go. It looks better. I don't know. I think it does. Or at least I think it will once they're done uh, doing their things. Should we do a shakedown? Yeah, go on and do a shakedown. All right, so Workshop's been, been getting it going. It's good. We're making lots of money. 19000 a day now. And the only thing left to do is to make sure all of this is connected. Which it's... Ha they're having a problem getting to this tile. Because it's on the corner. I think they can reach it here, though, so it's okay. You'll get t certain times where... If you build a, if you build it just right. Say you have a wall right here, too, right? The They won't be able to get next to this tile because it's in the corner of, like, four rooms. They'll have a problem getting to that. And sometimes you'll run into a problem where, you know, they just won't be able to do it. It'll be the constant, persistent... Uh, thing and you'll have to demolish one of your walls to get them to do that if you're having that issue we Move the tunnel Very nice. Looks like it's getting a little dirty Might want to get some more janitors Just a few more hello tunnel nice try almost to the end mm, Three thousand dollars is not a whole lot, but it might be worth just kind of going like this just to get that started. So I'm going to get that started. Might be worth it. Go ahead and clear the tunnel if we can. Very good. $14, $14 left. Honestly, I think I'll just go ahead and do that all the way over here, though. I don't want them to... I don't want them to get this. I'm going to increase the loan. And we're going to go ahead and grab perimeter wall all the way across. And maybe we do go up a little bit. Give us more room over here. I could see that. Let's do that instead. All the way up. And uh, maybe we'll even bring this over again, just to give us a little bit more room later. And um, like that ought to do it. So that'll close this whole area in with a fence that's a little bit further away. And we can get rid of this whole fence here too. And then they'll have a harder time you know, digging a tunnel out that way. So, there's going to be a couple of days here coming up where you're probably not going to have any videos from me. And when we come back from that break, uh, like I had this period of time, probably, I want to say it's going to last about two weeks total, where I just have to watch my son, like a lot. You're probably experiencing that while, these, while this video is going out, most likely. And uh, I'm just going to have to watch my son a lot. Uh, COVID-19 being a thing. My wife's not uh, not really getting a break from her work. So she's going to be, you know, she's going to be extra busy. And as a result of that, I'm going to be extra extra busy. Uh, but I'm going to be extra busy watching my son. So uh, in any case, I hope you guys have uh, a wonderful time. Hope you guys all stay safe. And... Um, when we come when I come back from that I will be recording right alongside you guys I will no longer be ahead of you so that's scary normally I like to have a backlog for times uh, just like this but unfortunately that won't be possible this time around so I like how this guy oh okay so they weren't just floating in okay got it I thought they were just Floating. Uh, how are they going to be able to actually get rid of this? Is that even going to be possible? I mean, it's disconnected here, so I guess that's all that matters. But I think this right here can't be disconnected. Hmm. Alright then. So all of this needs to be protective only. 
Protective only. And I still don't have anyone to put in here. I did. And then they just poof, vanished on me, you know? We have 50% coverage on Benjamin Curtis now. At least we got that going for us. 50% is pretty good. Is there anybody with... There's still a few question marks out here. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab Benjamin again. Just because there are a few. There's also a legendary here. This is extremely strong. I mean, he's normal security. I could maybe put him in maximum, but I don't really have a difference in minimum and maximum yet. I'd like to eventually get every security level on their own island. I think that's that's what we're that's what I'm going for eventually. But I don't have that yet. Because that's a really long It's gonna take a really long time to do. Which one am I am I searching that one? I think I wanna search one of these, right? I can't search this. Why can't I search this? Oh there it goes. Weird. It wasn't coming up with a search. It was coming up as uh, Maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe I'm just seeing things. All right, so we have general education and stuff now, obviously, but that's not really necessary anymore. That's an incredibly expensive class for one student to take. So we, we're going to let him go through it now. And we'll... Uh, let's, it's James Brown. Wait, did you fail again, James? Gah! You failed again! He's tried three times. I almost feel like keeping this class open just so he can finally succeed. But with a 14 chance of reoffending and he's getting close to parole, I don't think I want to spend the money on general education anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that funding. We're going to cut funding to education. The true American way here. There we go. Uh, let me make kitchen hygiene. No, I don't want to do kitchen hygiene because I don't want them uh, working in the kitchen. I will do taser certification, though. And we'll get at least a few going. We have to pay for each and every one of these tasers. Hello. You are released. And that is the excuse for you to walk on water? Where are you all going? Oh, my gosh. you got to be kidding me. I wonder, do they hijack helicopters? Because this might not be the safest place for this. But I will also say that visitor door could go here. I am like trying to figure out what the heck are they like? Why are they going on the ferry to leave? Visitors? They're way over here. You guys are walking clear across here to the ferry, then over and onto this helicopter. That's how you're leaving. That's your path of less resistance, least resistance. That's strange. How are we doing on this cell? See, I've only got fifty-six hundred dollars left. I may actually go into debt again. Just because these wall this wall is really expensive. Also, uh, demolish all of this so that you can get out, workman. You trapped yourselves in, didn't ya? It's alright, it's my fault. There you go. Alright, so all of this is now a perimeter wall instead. Now they can still tunnel under it. It's just way harder to do. It takes way longer to do. So we're more likely to find them with our patrols, which I'm going to just extend a little bit that way, just in case they go like that or something. And uh, dog patrols on this side are going to be necessary as well. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a staff gate there. We've got a gate there. These are compartmentalized, as you can see. And then our janitors are just hanging out in storage over here instead of cleaning the place. Maybe we're all cleaned out. Possibly. I don't know. Are we all fully padded now? No, the canteen still needs to padded. Actually, you know, psychiatrist's office is padded now. And I don't know if that actually matters. I don't think it does, but yeah, whatever. We have done enough sessions now to get the medicine cabinet. We actually need eight more sessions to get the test. 18 more sessions for the flipboard and 28 more sessions for the anatomy model. But this medicine cabinet can go in these offices. And that will increase the psychiatrist's abilities. It will make them more effective in their sessions. Which should calm down these guys a lot. And I haven't had any problem with these guys. They've been pretty much sedated this entire time. Like, or pretty dormant or whatever, right? Like, calm, right? They had calm status. 
for quite a while. Some of the ones that need sessions, they're agitated, but I haven't really seen anyone really get up there and do anything violent in a pretty long time. Most of the violence has come in this room. It's been between inmates that are here. Uh, usually, there are several different gang members involved in that. But as you'll see, Green Gang has way more people than the others who are just at one apiece. And a lot of times, like the couple of deaths we've had lately in here, uh, I think while I was building that other thing out, we had a couple of deaths. They were both Red Gang. So, you know, I don't I don't think they counted them as, as gang kills. So, I, I'm not sure what killed them. It wasn't, like, killed by rival gang members, so... I don't know. I have no idea. Um, we have enough cooks. None of these are connected to power. Why? Did we not get these fully connected? Ah, that. Get that done, and then that done. And, you know, that's only a single source for power, but, I mean, it's still a pretty safe source. There's nothing that's going to ruin this line. And then we've got the hot water issues, which requires power. So once we get power, they'll all have hot water again, too. Let's get that done, guys. Come on now. I like how they can swim and then hook up an electrical main. Hooking up a main electrical line from within the water. They have to walk all the way around to get to this. Yeah. That's the nature of it. Come on over, fairy. Let's go. It's been five seconds. Or ten seconds. I have it on ten seconds. And then all these things can stop blinking at us when that's done. Fifteen grand now. I'm going to pay this. As soon as we get to twenty-five, I'll pay that down. So we're at one fifteen. And we haven't... Uh... Actually, I don't think we're going to wait till that gets paid. No, I don't think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to put walls in. Because bringing in prisoners... Bringing in prisoners is a much bigger deal. We need to start getting these facilities used. And getting this... Um, getting the cells made and stuff. So I'm just going to do this really quick. Uh, do that really quick. Yes, I'm aware. could have templated all these walls. But uh, I didn't, so whatever. I, t I templated the interiors of the cells, but not the walls. Because I wanted the lights to come with me. Apparently, I'm just lazy enough to where placing lights afterwards is not in the cards for me, I guess. I would rather place everything than place just the lights. <laughs> I, apparently. Uh, okay, here we go. Like this, like this. That goes there, that goes there. We are running out of money, man. Real tight budget now. Bring this all the way down. Bring this all the way up. After all this, all we'll need for these to be cells is just the cell door. The jail doors. And that's it. And then we have capacity for 45 more prisoners. Which means more money every day. Right? Because they pay us every single day they're in here, they pay us. The government does, anyway. But we can train them for the workshop, and then they'll make more money, right? We need more people working workshops. Right now, we go to logistics, prison labor, right? We have uh, 10 people. Max max people working here is 10. And max people working here is 6. So six people, 16 people are qualified to work in workshops. Uh, or, sorry, 16 people can work in workshops. We have 26 qualified. That usually means you should make another workshop. Usually. Because you have more people qualified than jobs available. And I could. I, I could extend this down and make this workshop even bigger. And that might be the better solution, actually. That might... That might be a good idea. This forestry doesn't need to be quite this big, I don't think. Yeah, go on. Let's just do that. So, we're going to have uh, this this area here is going to get expanded upon. And we're going to go like... And I realize, again, this takes away the, the perimeter walls and stuff. But if I make this bigger, I can just flat fit more people here. So, 
And we're going to do that. That will remove this wall. At least it should. It will also remove that corner. So I'll have to replace that one. They're going to tear down the perimeter wall. Which, again, is like uh, 1000 2000 About $3,000 worth of waste. But we'll make up for it with the amount of work we can push in this workshop when it's bigger. Grab the brick wall. Just wait for it to finalize. Uh, we're also going to want to move that staff door. So we're going to want to move that to be over here, I guess, now. Foundations in place. Come on now. And then um, I think I am going to switch this. I think I'm going to move this storage to here. Smaller storage. Or have a kitchen here. And then they can walk across to cater to an even bigger canteen. So we'll demolish this. Um, this will, excuse me. This will be a wall. So we'll just demolish this. I have the hiccups. I have been trying to hide that from you this entire video, guys. <laughs> it's been very hard. And I just, I slipped up. You have no idea how hard it is to hide the fact that you have hiccups for 20 minutes. <laughs> it's not easy. Okay. It's not. It's like the the worst thing. Ask ask any video creator. What's your biggest? I mean, I don't know about the biggest fear, but uh, what's something that's just well trying to hide that you have hiccups is pretty hard to do. Cash flow. Uh, it's even harder when you're live because you have a face cam. I've I've done a stream before where I had hiccups most of the stream, and I don't think no, I don't remember anyone saying anything. I I just I just kind of went along with it, went along with the flow. Didn't talk about anything different. Didn't try try not to act different. And I don't remember anyone saying anything. So I think I was successful. That was like a five hour live stream. That guy's trapped forever. So um, I can't actually hire any more workmen. So, but I mean, I'm looking at 12,000 12, a day. We have a negative balance. And... Mm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait on that. Do I have any jail doors in storage? I have a couple. Uh, we can do a couple. Let's go one. Uh, I'd rather not use other doors, though. Like, I have this door. That's a, it's a large one. No. Um, yeah. Because really all we need are jail doors throughout this whole thing. And then we can get them intake. You know? And a medium security prisoner... It's worth $500 a piece on intake. If we intake maximums, it's 1000 on intake. But again, remember, we're making the same amount of money every day for each prisoner. It doesn't matter if they're maximum or medium or whatever. You're getting the same every day for each one. The only exception to that, I think, and I, I don't remember, so I might be wrong. The only, I, think these, I think there's an exception to that for death row. I, I don't remember, though, because they can't be transferred. You can't switch their security levels. You can't switch criminally insane either. But I think they're still giving you 200 a day. For each one. And I, I am serious. I think the first island we're going to do is this one down here. Our first expansion is going to be low. Uh, we're going to go lower. And hopefully have a fairly decently sized island. For a huge like criminally insane island. Okay. That's what I'd like to have done. Now, the hard part about that is that that's an island where the prisoners aren't really going to work. Oh, they're, he's, are they getting out? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you trying to break down the power? Seriously? Where are my guards? Are there no guards in here? Like, where are my guards? I guess I don't have anyone assigned to this whole section. So they're all assigned to other places. Oh, that's good! <laughs> this guy sucks. Oh, this guy sucks. Um, Well, I mean, we had sprinklers. We should put it out. That's why we put sprinklers over the power units. So it, it, will, it will put out the fire. That's the reason why we did that. But, like, where are my guards? Get in here, you dummies. 
What are you doing? Go get this guy. Yeah, chase him down. What a dick. Oh, this poor workman. Killed by electrocution. Oh, darn it. This is why we put sprinklers over every single power station. You don't have to call the fire department. Um, so let's take a look at the damage. And uh, all four sprinklers still work. They're still all of them. All four of them are operational. We lost the line there and we lost the line here. And then we have to go and put this in. And uh, yeah, these two areas here. Very weird. Where did this guy go? And why, why did he get back here? Like, how did you... Oh, the forestry. I moved... Yeah, when I did this, I made it... Ah! It's, like, technically my fault, but it's one of those stupid things where the game switches the security level on you, right? So, like, when I expanded this, it changed this to all shared. It changed all this to shared. And that's why he was able to get through here. I don't see why he was able to go through here, but I think it's, like, once he starts destroying something, he's not paying attention to zoning anymore. I think it's one of those deals. Thankfully, I mean, this power station is really not powering much of anything. I mean, the workshop, I guess, but they can still work on that one. We're spreading them out that way. So, uh, it looks like this perimeter wall is going to stay up, but I am going to take it down like this. And uh, I think I'll go ahead and take it down there and there. And there, and then we'll go ahead and demolish that wall. And this whole thing will now be a workshop. If we can mark the whole thing as a workshop. There we go. And now I should be able to put more prisoners in here. Yeah, okay, good. So we expand it out. And now we have capacity for 20 people at a time for those. Now let's go ahead and grab this. We want the offices for our foreman. They have relatively big offices. Just because that's the way it all lined up. So we're going to have office desk. We have very big offices, actually. We're going to have an office desk there, there. It's this very important construction projects, right? They have to have a big office for that. Um, radiators, I don't think, are really required. But since we already have a pipe here, we might as well pop that there and... I guess we'll pop this one over here. We have room for it, so okay. Rooms. This is going to be an office. Same thing with this one. And then I want you to give me access to filing cabinets. Thank you. And chairs. Good enough. All right. So those will end up being the foreman's office. And... Uh, We'll have another foreman, too. And then they can each manage their own. And, you know, one foreman can walk over and go this way. And the other one can walk up and just go into the store. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. Oh, I feel bad about the electrocution, though. Poor workman. That sucks. I'm sorry that happened to you. Get that line running. I think that'll be... I think that should be able to reach, yeah. And then the gymnasium. Is that even being used? Are people even using this? I don't feel like they are. Go like that as well. And then this is going to be a library. So we'll put this like that. And then the library ends up being right here. As soon as we can get it done. There you guys go. And then we'll put another door over here for the library too. So we'll say there. I'll just go ahead and open that. Let's go ahead and do another shakedown. Our 1 a.m. shakedown routines. Yep, we're looking for you. Looking for the dummy heads. I read that comment. I totally over. I totally spaced out on dummies. Completely forgot that those things existed. <laughs> like I was like, oh, um, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I remember that now. Took me by surprise. I don't think I've actually seen a dummy head in a very long time. So, I guess I could have, but I missed it. Oh, there we go. Another tunnel. 
Go ahead and fix it. We have three dollars left. So poor. Why are we so poor? Hey, leave me a comment down below. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, we played this uh, on Twitch a little while ago. And it was kind of interesting. And I, I thought maybe this could be okay for YouTube, but I don't know. So um, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm just going to ask you. And you can tell me in the comments if you want to. You can look it up, if you, I guess. It, do, what do you guys think of maybe trying out Project Hospital? It's like one of the more realistic... Um, hospital building management architecture types games like you you build and manage a hospital right it's not like two point hospital where it's you know very goofy it deals with real medical conditions and kind of gives you an insight into how hospitals are, are run kind of you know but it's also like the pacing of the game is fairly slow so I'm, I'm also not sure how you guys feel about that I keep hitting Q and E because of another game I'm playing <laughs> Anyway, I'm not sure how you guys feel about it because because the pacing would be kind of slow, but um, it's another thing that's kind of on my mind. So I'm I'm open to you know feedback on different ideas. I I'm a, I'm a creator that will ask if you're maybe new here. Hi, um, I'm a creator that tends to ask for a lot of feedback from his audience. I I do care what people kind of think, not because it's like I don't I I'm just, I just I just want to make as much money as I can. It's it's not it's not really like that. It's more like there are you know like. 30 games I want to play, but I can't play 30. I can only play two. So getting a feedback from people lets me know how to prioritize my time, right? It's one of those types of deals. So let me let me know what you think of a uh, Project Hospital playthrough. You can look that up on Steam if you uh, want to know more about it. Uh, it's not it's not a new game, so I suppose if you wanted to, you could always just look up another video on it and see what they're like. Do that too. And then you'll find another creator. And you'll find someone else to watch. <laughs> Just kidding. Nah, YouTube is a place... There's so many people. You know? I'm gonna take a loan here really quick. I just don't like being in debt. And I really want this to be repaired. So, uh, repair it, please. I just, um... This, this is a network where there's a ton of people, right? Like, there's no way... That I can expect that people just watch my videos only, right? That's not gonna happen. So, yeah. In any case, power's back on. We should see the lights flick on too, if there were lights. We're gonna use wall lights anyway. In the cells, in the hallways and stuff, maybe too. I just like these because they don't take power, they're actually kind of broken. In my opinion, the wall light is a little bit broken. It probably should not exist how it does. But it does. It does exist. In case you didn't know, I'm sure after wondering why, this wall light right here that I'm putting in, it costs the same as a normal light, right? But notice how this light requires electrical. This does not. So we just get it for free. We just get to add it to our cells and the prisoners get light and there's no cost to our electrical grid. Doesn't really seem all that fair, but as long as it exists like it does, well, there's no reason not to use it. So we're going to use it all the way through like this. And let's go wall light. 25 more of them in storage. Oh, okay. Now they're starting to use them. That's better. I was like, how many of these have I broken down before? All right. There we go. All the cells are going to have light now. Isn't that nice? And then for the hallways, we do the same thing, really. We just pop these, hall these lights in the hallway. Again, they're just going to provide light to the whole area. And it doesn't matter. The only the only thing is you can't place them on the same tile as another light is. So, for example, like I couldn't place this light here that's on this side. I couldn't place it on the same tile as this one. Because this one's occupying the whole tile, even though it's on light only on one side. So I'd have to go next to it. But yeah, it just doesn't it's not a it's just weird how the how the wall lights are. I don't I don't agree that they should be free like this. I think they should cost you electricity like everything else. 
I'm not entirely sure why you two are sharing a cell. Um, I'm going to make an exception to my rule here and put you two down so I maybe can get you processed. Well, the one is marked for processing. The other, not so much. Blaze the champ. Okay. I was like, they're gone. <laughs> no. Okay, they're not they're not totally gone. We'll put wall lights in these cells too. In the solitary cells too. Okay. You know what guys? I need to leave it here. Duty calls. Daddy duty calls. It's true. Sorry about that. It's just the way it is. Uh hopefully you guys have a great I guess it's not really a break for you, but it's kind of a break for me. And then sometime shortly after the 4th of July, I think my schedule is supposed to t calm down just a tad. But my wife and I are buying a house, and we're going through a lot to do that. Um, we also have to get our own home prepared to sell. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of stress, and there's a lot of time. Uh, there's not a lot of time for content creation for at least like the next... It's, it's an irregular schedule. Just count on an irregular, probably less frequent schedule from now until, like, say, for the next month and a half or so, right? It's just going to be not that frequent. So, uh, at least not, like, two a day like, it's ha like it has been. So, um, appreciate your patience. And uh, for all you people who are new to the channel, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining me. We're, all, we're going on, like, we're over 29,000 subscribers now. That's... Um, that's unbelievable. If you're new here and you need something to pass the time, I got a bunch of different Prison Architects uh, seasons that I've done. They're all linked in the description of all these videos. You can check those out if you want to know different prison designs I've done in the past. And then we've got a whole lot of other games I've done, whether they're factory, logistical types of things, to story-based playthroughs like Detroit Become Human. That was really great. Um, you know, if you're more into, like, the, the factory... Uh, you're more into like the creative type things. There's all sorts of things on this channel for everybody. I tried to give a variety of content and uh, maybe there's something else out there for you that you can have to, to binge and pass the time. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next time. It doesn't look like this is ever going to get done. So I probably should just remove it from the queue entirely. So I will. And there's the notebook page to finish the day. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. We'll, uh, we'll see you in the next video, and it'll be much more, I'll be much more caught up with you. Take care. Bye.